I accidentally put it in two-wheel drive. Tim O'Neill here from the Tim O'Neill Rally School. We've got a Bronco Badlands and we're going to do a will it rally. I think it will rally. If you give her enough gas, I think it'll go anywhere. And this Bronco is one of the kind of vehicles I'm thinking about buying. I think it has everything we need. It has big space. It has all wheel drive. It has the RS motor, which I'm quite fond of. Um, I'm already getting excited and I really haven't driven it yet. We're going to pound the out of that thing. No stick, eh? Oh, I need a radio or something. Okay, so my uh, what I want to try on the switches, I, I like what I see here because it's easy to read. Uh, all the diff settings, there is a, um, a different, I think one thing unhooks the sway bar, one locks the front diff, one locks the rear diff. The dynamic stability off on the RS, what I like to drive is the dynamic stability off in normal mode. So it's all wheel drive, normal, with the, with the dynamic stability off. So let's try that. Now the other thing you're gonna realize, is I might be able to make this car go pretty fast, but it is a, a car with ABS brakes. So when it's a deeper snow, or anytime it's low grip, the ABS might not work as well. So I have to be careful, it won't, it'll go faster than it'll stop. Brake, turn, so you gotta be brent, as you, we've noticed before on these tests that you gotta brake, but don't brake super hard. Brake to the point, you can brake pretty hard, but if it starts to engage ABS, you might be better off easing off the brakes. You get better stopping on loose surfaces when you brake a little more carefully. So the softer the material, the softer you brake. It may look like I'm braking pretty hard, but you really can't, you see. And braking in the corner is kind of good. And we're just gonna practice a little bit here. Come down, let's see if I can, how fast I can come. It's like 56, brake, turn, back on the gas, brake, turn, gas, 29. 26. Okay, so braking in the turn is kind of effective, but there's also a delay, mostly because I'm not shifting correctly. Now when I have a lot of RPMs and I and I let off, it seems like it turns in better. <laughs> I think I was just driving around in third gear. I guess I can't see what the tack is. All right, so I'm gonna have to change that because I can't read the tack. Oh, get a little air there. Shift, I see. Can't really use the handbrake. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, stop down here and see if I can fix that so I can read the tack. It's on mile per hour, but I need tack. I think this is an owner's manual thing. <laughs> Battery voltage, oil temperature, turbo boost, gauges, tire pressure. Ooh, power, ooh, tire pressure. Too much air. And there might be something that you can go in with that. Uh, oh, yeah, with IBS and yeah. configure it, yep. All right, well, thank you for trying. Yes, sir, sorry I couldn't help a little more. That's all right. I'm just gonna have to hammer the out of it without the knowledge of the RPM. I can't hear Okay, lads, I got some hair pressure down. I'm kind of happier now. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, the only thing we've changed now we have the dynamic stability and traction control off 
and we have uh, 32 pounds of air pressure, which I found it to be uh, a little too hard for me, the tires. So let's try it again with a little less air pressure, a little more forgiving with less air pressure. Now, oh yeah, it's, it's, it just takes that edge off a little bit. I have a little more control. When it gets low grip, it doesn't just lose grip immediately when it's low grip. It, it feels like, I'll make it, I'm gonna be okay. I'm leaving third, brake hard. Well, okay, so we still have the ABS thing. The tire pressure is not gonna change that too much. Now I have both dynamic stability and the lock diff. It doesn't turn quite as well, but it might be a little more predictable. I'm gonna get a little air here. It doesn't turn quite as well. No, no, it doesn't turn. I accidentally put it in two-wheel drive. Bring it. What a fun day. Yes, I think the Bronco was it was a really good, uh, really fun car to drive, a truck. I'm not even sure what you'd call it. Um, 
it, it was a really good day. And what I, I think, uh, will, will it rally? What it means to me is, can you take a vehicle that's standard in form, right from the manufacturer, and drive it to the limit, and doesn't throw any big surprises at you, doesn't get too scary. Once you figure out the switches and how you want to drive it, that type of, that mode for that condition, uh, and then you find the limit of the vehicle. It's, there's nothing surprising about it. So yes, I'd say it will rally. Um, any vehicle like that's big and heavy and you know, might not win the world championship, but you can certainly have a lot of fun. And I think that uh, a vehicle like that would be extremely fun and safe. Good combination, I approve. Despite myself, I can't rid myself of it. Hey, this is Chris Sear, CEO and partner at Team O'Neill. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you want to join our community, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about us or book a course, please visit teamoneal.com. We look forward to connecting with you. All right, let's get this done and let's not around any longer. Let's go.